Hey everyone, today's video is about when an earthquake happens while you're alone and you're scared. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. And let's get going. You stand in the kitchen, preparing dinner for you and Bakugo after a long day of your work. The apartment was quiet, the only sound being the soft sizzle of food cooking on the stove. Suddenly, the ground beneath you begins to shake violently, rattling the dishes and causing you to stumble. Your heart races as panic grips you. The memories of past earthquakes flood in your mind. Your breathing becomes shallow and your hands tremble uncontrollably. Tears well up in your eyes as fear takes hold. Babe, Bakugo's voice cuts through the chaos, filled with concern as he rushes into the room, his eyes scanning your shaking form. What's wrong? It's an earthquake. You manage to choke out, your voice barely above whisper. I can't, I can't handle it. Without hesitation, Bakugo crosses the room and pulls you into his arms, holding you tightly against his chest. Hey, listen to me. You're safe with me. I won't let anything happen to you. But the tremors continue, intensifying your panic. You bury your face in Bakugo's chest, Seeking comfort in his familiar scent, his arms tighten around you protectively, his warmth a soothing balm against your fear. It's okay to be scared, he murmurs, his voice gentle. I'm here for you, always. You cling to him desperately, the storm of emotions swirling inside you, threatening to overwhelm you. But with Bakugo by your side, you feel a flicker of hope amidst the chaos. As the earthquake subsides and the tremor ceases, you slowly begin to regain control of your breathing. Bakugo pulls away slightly, his hands cupping your face as he searches your eyes for assurance. Are you okay? He asks softly, his voice stained with concern. You nod, a shaky smile gracing your lips. Yeah, I think so. Thanks to you. Baku's expression softens, and he presses a tender kiss to your forehead. Anytime, sweetheart. I'll always be here for you. No matter what. In that moment, wrapped in Baku's arms, you realize that strength isn't always about being fearless. Sometimes it was about allowing yourself to be vulnerable. To lean on the ones you love when the world feels like it's falling apart. And with Baku by your side, you know that together, you can weather any storm. The aftermath of the earthquake leaves the apartment in disarray. Shattered glass litters the floor, and the once organized shelves are now chaotic messes. But amidst the chaos, you and Bakugo find solace in each other's arms. With gentle reassurance, Bakugo guides you away from the kitchen, leading you to the safety of the living room. He settles you onto the couch, wrapping a blanket around your trembling form. Sitting beside you, he keeps a comforting arm around your shoulders. He's present a constant source of strength. I'm sorry, Katsuki. I really didn't mean to get so scared. I'm really sorry. I hate that I, I get like this when, when I get scared. But I really should be less of a scaredy cat, I know. Why, Anne? I don't mind this at all, okay? Really. If I did, I wouldn't be right next to you. So don't be ridiculous. You're the strongest person I know. It's okay to be scared. It doesn't make you any less of a hero. His words wash over you like a soothing mom, easing the lingering tension in your chest. You lean into his embrace finding comfort in the warmth of his touch. I just... I feel so helpless. You admit, your voice rarely but whisper, like I'm trapped in my own fears. Bakugo's grip tightens around you, his expression fierce and determined. You're not helpless. You're brave, stronger than you realize. And I'll always be here to remind you of that. Tears prick at the corners of your eyes, Overwhelmed by Bakugo's unwavering support. 
in his arms, you find the courage to confront your fears, to face the uncertainty of the world with newfound strength. Together, you weather the aftershocks of the earthquake, finding solace in each other's presence, and as the night wears on, you drift off to sleep, knowing that no matter what challenges the future may bring, you'll face them together, hand in hand. The morning light filters through the curtains, casting a soft glow across the room. You stir awake, the events of the previous night still fresh in your mind. Glancing beside you, you find Bakugo fast asleep, his features relax and slumber. With a soft smile, you gently brush a stray strand of hair from his forehead, marveling at the peaceful expression on his face. Despite the chaos of the world outside, he remains your steadfast anchor, a making of strength and resilience. As you rise from the bed, you tap to across the room, careful not to disturb Bakugo's rest. The aftermath of the earthquake still lingers, the apartment bearing the scars of the night before. But, with a newfound sense of determination, you set to work, cleaning up the debris and restoring order to your home. With the each broken dish that you sweep away, and chatter glass, he dispose of. You feel a sense of purpose wash over you. It's a small victory, but it was a step forward, a tangible reminder that even in the face of chaos, you have the power to rebuild, to reclaim control over your surroundings. Hours pass in a blur, as you work tirelessly, fueled by the sense of purpose and determination and as you put the finishing touches on the apartment, you step back to admire your handiwork, a sense of pride swelling within you. Just then, you feel a pair of warm arms wrap around you from behind, pulling you into a warm embrace. You lean back into Baku's chest, relishing in the comfort of his presence. You've been working hard. He murmurs, pressing a gentle kiss to the top of your head. I'm really proud of you. You turn to face him, a soft smile playing at your lips. Thank you, Katsuki. You say, your voice filled with gratitude. For everything. Bakugo's gaze softens, his crimson eyes reflecting the depth of his affection. Anytime, sweetheart. We're in this together, remember? And in that moment, surrounded by the warmth of his love, you realize that strength isn't just about overcoming your fears. It was about finding solace in the ones you hold dear. Thank you guys for listening. I hope you liked this video. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. And goodbye.